We are Snow and Kurt. We sold everything we own and left corporate America to travel the world. We've been living in our tiny house on wheels for over two years, traveling from the USA, Mexico, and all through Central America. Now it's time to take our journey to South America. And as some of you know, we share our traveling life with two videos a week on YouTube. And when we started to talk about shipping our van to Colombia, we started to get questions. A lot of questions. Everyone wants to know, why don't we just drive from Central America to South America? And it's a legitimate question. The continent of North America is attached to the continent of South America. There is clearly a strip of land. So why not drive our van from Panama to Colombia and save all the hassle of shipping our van on a huge cargo ship? And don't think it's a silly question. We did not know any of this when we got started planning our journey around the world in a van. In fact, we've learned more about geography over the past two years than we ever thought possible. So why not drive? Well, the answer is actually simple. There are no roads. But why are there no roads? Let's answer that question. If you Google search this topic, there are a lot of reasons mentioned. And for the record, we have not triple checked the validity of these reasons, but there does seem to be a consensus on the internet. So here goes. This area is called the Darien Gap. It is a 60 mile stretch of very dense jungle that sits on the border of Panama and Colombia. The area is known to be one of the most dangerous jungles in the world. The wildlife that lives here is enough to make that a true statement. And it rains here a lot. So it is very wet, almost always at 100% humidity. And there are also serious mountains and rivers that make it an area that would be very difficult and very costly to build a road. Now, it could be done, but it would be an expensive and complicated engineering challenge. This is one of the most biodiverse places on the planet and one of only a few places in the world with no development. And I can tell you, as we travel across this planet so far, it is nice to know that there are some places still left untouched, a place that the animals can still roam free where the environment remains untouched. That really is kind of a nice thing. Also, three indigenous groups of people live in this jungle. The Kuna, the Embera, and the Wunan. Now, I'm sure I may have said those wrong, but you get my point. Three indigenous groups of people live here, and building a road through here would for sure disturb their way of life. The Darien Gap is considered one of the most dangerous places in the world, not just because of the terrain and the wildlife, but also because of rebel military groups and drug traffickers. The area is patrolled by these groups and whether it's right or wrong, they treat this land as their own and they protect it fiercely. Cattle. You may wonder how cows could prevent a road. Well, it isn't the cows. It's the industry. The cattle industry has been fighting against a road connecting North America and South America since the 1970s. Why? Well, disease. North America eradicated foot and mouth disease in their livestock in the 1950s. South America still has this disease in their cows. So North American cattle farmers feel like a road could open North America back up to this disease, and well, that would be bad for them. All right, a few more interesting facts. The gap has been crossed seven times in a vehicle. At least that's the documented ones that we could find. Think extreme off-road 4x4 vehicles, Jeeps and Land Rovers, not the fancy ones you see on the highways, but hardcore off-road vehicles. The dates of these crossings range from the 1960s to the 1980s, and each expedition took a long, long, really long time. Think three to six months. And of course, the failed attempts are too numerous to count. You can walk across the gap, 
Migrants cross the gap all the time. Now, we do not get political on our YouTube channel, so this is not to be a political debate. But it is a fact that people, so desperate to find a better life, make their way north from South America into Central America by walking across this 60 miles of dangerous jungle. Many of them do not make it. They die along the way. The locals say they are swallowed up by the jungle. And those that do make it, well, they are met by the Panamanian immigration authorities when they make it to the other side, and they are totally putting their fate in the refugee system. There have been discussions of building a road through the gap for over 100 years. And it is said that Colombia is ready to put up $600 million to build this road. But not so fast, because Panama, at least for now, does not seem interested in building a road through the Darien Gap. In the past, there have been car ferries that have connected the two countries, which would make crossing significantly easier, especially for people like us. We would just do the customs and immigration paperwork that's required for any border crossing, and then simply drive our van onto the ferry, stay with your van, and then drive it off on the other side. No fear of theft or damage or wondering if somebody's messing with your van, kind of like crossing from the Baja Peninsula of Mexico into mainland Mexico. And this would be a lot cheaper too. But all of the past ferries have failed and there are no rumors of a new one starting up anytime soon. So for us to continue our journey, well, we must load the van up on a cargo ship and watch it sail off into the ocean. Then we hop on a plane and fly to Colombia with our two kitties. And then, well, we wait for our ship to arrive so we can continue our journey around the world. If you're new to our channel, we invite you to check out a few of our travel videos where we show you what it's like to live and travel in a van around the world. You can also check us out on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. And with that, we will see you all in a few days. Cheers.